Hey guys, it's Carly and welcome to or back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys all of my favorite products of 2018 from beauty, wellness, and fashion. So first we're going to start with beauty. My first product is the Garnier Skin Active Glow Boost Illuminating Moisturizer. Basically, this is just a moisturizer that makes you look a little bit more tan and kind of brings out a natural highlight in your face. This is seriously amazing. If I don't want to wear makeup for a day, but I know I still need to look presentable, this is what I put on and people are like, oh my goodness, you look so tan, you look so pretty, and I'm like, seriously, it works miracles. The next product is the Glossier Balm.com. This is a beautiful thing. It feels like one of those like medicating lip balms, but it doesn't burn your lips, so it's just soothing. I've been using this for only the last month, so this is like a December favorite. But I only use this one chapstick from Europe, and in the end, my lips still get chapped. It's just like temporary. This is more like it actually soothes and helps your lips long term. I mean, for at least this last month. We'll see in the future, but I really like this, and I definitely recommend it. I just have the regular original version. Next is this mascara. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I'm sure you've heard of this before, possibly from other YouTubers. I needed to try it out because I'm not somebody to go get expensive mascara and honestly other makeup as well because I barely wear any makeup. If I do, it's very natural. But I needed a drugstore mascara that works, that lasts, that looks nice. And this really accentuates my already long eyelashes. So I really, really, really think that this is the best drugstore one that you can find. Here we have the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. This is the first Kiehl's treatment I've ever tried. I wanted to try an under eye cream for preventative purposes. And everyone you look up, it just has bad reviews. This is the only one that I looked up and didn't have bad reviews. So I gave it a try. I feel like I'm at a spa when I put it on every night. When I wake up, you know when you wake up and you have like tired eyes? Ever since I've been using this these past few months, I have not had that. It's like kind of creepy and it's a beautiful thing and I definitely really like it. Moving on to wellness, things that make you feel good, self-care, that type of stuff. The first thing is this oil diffuser. Oil diffusers have become so popular this year. My mom has been telling me about them for years and I was just like, <laughs> you're crazy. Sorry mom. However, this year I asked for one for Christmas because we have one at work and it just smells so good. It's relaxing, it's calming, and I wanted to try a lavender one so I also got that for Christmas. These things, like work miracles, there's people that like have ones for energy, things to focus, and honestly, I kind of believe in it. I feel like it's one of those things you kind of believe and you will achieve. However, I'm for it. The next thing I seriously think everybody should have are the blue light glasses that if you're sitting at a computer all day or even if you're on your phone all day for work, whether... Whatever it is, um, it's glasses that basically retract the blue light that comes in from screens and things. So I have mine from Felix Grey, and this is probably the best purchase I've made all year. I think I talked about these in another video, maybe like my September favorites or something. But honestly, when I'm looking at a computer all day, my eyes hurt. And when I wear these, they don't. So I really like these. I look like a little nerd in them, but whatever. My eyes kind of acclimate and I feel like now they're such like wussies now <laughs> that I do use these, but it's helping your eyes. Another favorite of mine are the Hydro Flasks. These water bottles are so stupidly expensive for water bottles. It's so silly. However, I get it. I honestly do. So I don't even want to tell you how much it was, but You'll see when you click on it, my brother got this for me for Christmas because I'm somebody who doesn't really use like plastic water bottles just because I want to help the environment a little bit. So I have one of those Brita filter as you pour things and I fill up water bottles every day. Oh, and now I'm just ranting about a water bottle and I feel absolutely ridiculous. However, for someone like me, and I'm sure a lot of other people who are using this every day, 24-7, it's honestly worth it. Moving on to fashion, my first favorite trend is the teddy coats. I had this in brown and I posted in a haul about a month or two ago from Shein. Oh my goodness, I went and got it in black as well. One, because it is so affordable. And also the black, I feel like, is one that I can wear out as well. This is something that is... Really just, you could wear it out, you could wear it during the day, you could wear it when it's cold in New York City. I just 
feel like there's so many uses to it that you're really getting your money's worth. The next thing is velvet scrunchies. I love this trend. I always have one on my wrist because I'm always using them for my job. And also they're just cute while not having rubber things that hurt your hair and everything. I feel like this is a lot nicer. I actually have some more right here. I really love these and I use them every single day. The next thing is cheetah. If you told me that you liked cheetah about like three years ago or even two years ago, I'd be like, ew, like I am not an animal print person at all. However, I fell in love this year and I feel like I'm going against everything I felt my whole life. Um, Starting with this sweatshirt that I have from H&M right here that just says like Amour and the cheetah print. I really love this sweatshirt. I have two really cute cheetah dresses that I'll post little pictures right here of me in them. And then for Christmas, I got cheetah slippers and a cheetah robe. Little extra. I know I'm actually not really an extra person at all, so it's funny that I would get this, but I really love this. I have been loving corduroy this year. So I have this like cropped corduroy jacket that I've shown before in a haul from Zara. I absolutely love this. It's so cute. I know Urban makes the cutest high-waisted corduroy jeans that I really want to get my hands on within probably the next few weeks because I feel like they're so cute and you could carry them into like spring as well. As long as you get a color that you can make a little springy. These are really cute. It's such a good trend and they look really good on you. Mini backpacks have been my absolute life this year. I actually just got another new one for Christmas. So this is just this Kate Spade velvet one that my mom got me. Like, I love it so much. Mini backpacks are just something you could shove more things into than a pocketbook and just put it on your back rather than having to hold it on your hand or your shoulder where it slips off of me all the time. I don't know if that happens to everyone else, but I just get frustrated when I wear like shoulder bags. And if I wear a crossbody, I just feel like it ruins my outfit. So mini backpacks have been my best alternative this year and I'm definitely with it for a long time. Chunky soles have been another love of mine this year. These sneakers are from Steve Madden and these boots are from Ego Shoes. These are my really dirty shoes that I've worn around the whole world this year. Um, they're Steve Madden and you would never think that a Steve Madden sneaker would be comfortable. However, these are actually the most comfortable sneaker I've ever put on. More than my Nikes, more than anything, hence why I took these around everywhere. And then these nude patent leather sneaker, sneakers. And then these nude patent leather, <laughs> these nude patent leather boots. Oh my goodness, I just love the look of them. I look how, I these nude patent leather boots I really love because obviously the chunky sole but also the color I like that I could wear light jeans and not have like a black boot I feel like this is the perfect color to wear so cute so comfortable too so that was it I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up comment below what your favorite product of 2018 was and then subscribe so I can see you guys in my next video love y'all